All right, everybody. I just finished The Last of Us 2. Not playing it. I didn't spend $60 on this. No, 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 no. Watching the story on YouTube. I finished, I wrapped that up yesterday, actually, but I refreshed myself a little bit today. And I gotta say, no. Y'all waited seven years for this. Y'all waited seven years for this. Y'all seen all the leaks of this game and you went out and dropped 60. Now the other videos that got removed because of certain things that I said that they didn't like about it and that they didn't like what I had to say and the first one it was because they were going and they were banning shit because oh you talked about the leaks. Oh, but then the other video was they didn't like what I had to say because I, I showed nothing of the leaks in the other video, but that's that. So anyway, let's get into the game itself. Now, the gameplay and all that, it's it's pretty much, it looked the same as Last of Us 1, so nothing like ultra mind-blowing, so decent gameplay. But the gameplay isn't what you go for for Last of Us. The story is what made last of us one all right it's what made the game and in this game they try to interject a bunch of nonsense and they just you see that the the creator of this game something you have to understand about this creator of the game is he's one of these ultra liberal woke people and also he said himself i want to make a divisive game something along those lines when it should be i want to make a good game like i want to make a divisive game that's you just did shit on purpose for certain reactions like you made the abby character on fucking roids and look like a man it's a woman but it looks like a man you did that on purpose to get a certain reaction and not only that if that if that character was in some spin-off game nobody would really care but the fact, this is going to have full spoilers, by the way. You'd be pretty fucking dumb to click on this video and not understand that. But for the fact of you having to play as the character that kills Joel, the main character of the first game, within the first two hours, mind you, of the fucking game, is just a very poor choice, very poor idea uh, for this franchise. I kind of, I don't... I hope that they're not going to try to continue this shit because this is just sad. I watched, I didn't fucking, you're not hearing me just bitch about shit based off of the leaks prior. You're not having me go into this blind and just bitching about shit. I'm not fucking homophobic or any of that shit. It is forced. It's very fucking forced in the story. It's very fucking forced, but I could have, I could have looked past that and not gave a fuck, but it's just pandering on another level. There's also just a bunch of... And mind you, the zombie apocalypse happened in 2013, but somehow there's a bunch of flags from a bunch of different fucking... Every variation of everything in the fucking game. Um, so there's that. There's just a lot of pandering on all sides. And you can you can really see the underlying message of they wanted to get rid of Joel... It, like, it was not a meaningful death in any way, shape, or form. It wasn't like, oh, it's so gritty and realistic. Oh, my God. Like, Joel wouldn't have been... Do you know... Do you not remember in the first game, Joel not even trusting somebody that was faking being injured in the street and, like, running the... Do you not even remember that? Like, no, he's not this idiot that's just gonna blab out a bunch of fucking information to some random fucking people. It's not what Joel would have done. This game was purposefully made divisive, and also just the ending. We're going to talk about a few other things before I get to the ending, but this is just... I mean, just the way that they killed Joel, and the way that the fucking creator of the game is trolling people about it. I mean, it's kind of fucking funny, but it's also just... It's stupid, and the way they marketed the game was... Like, they had, they were going to have Joel in it. Like, it was going to be a Joel and Ellie adventure and, like, a bunch of shit was going to happen. And if they wanted to do the game right, here's how they could have did it. You know, if they didn't want to fucking just, oh, we have to make a divisive game for the sake of being divisive. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. 
if they didn't want to do that stupid shit. And all these people are like, oh, you don't get it, you don't get it. I get exactly what they were trying to do with the fucking story and the plot. And, like, it's, it's just all stuff that we already assumed. We already assumed that the people that you killed in the first game were just regular people going about their life. And this is a zombie fucking apocalypse. You don't have to fucking tell us and make us play as basically what would be an NPC fucking character in another game for, like, over half of the fucking game. I mean, it's really fucking dumb. And it's just, it's all done on purpose. And when you just see the underlying agendas in the game and you just see the the just awful story i mean it's not even good storytelling and then you'll just have these flashbacks out of nowhere and then you'll just have really awkward scenes like that one that one that we all know about that uh, 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 who fucks like that no one no one does not anybody that's trying to actually get the job done i mean damn but uh that weird scene and then just no so just the story is not good it's not even comparable and like i said i wouldn't even consider the first game a 10 out of 10 i know everyone else does on the planet that's like who's the greatest game ever made <laughs> and then this game all the paid reviewers are giving it 10 out of 10 somehow it's like oh they said mediocre gameplay 10 out of 10 <laughs> you know it's just it's stuff like that that just makes you be like okay this is this is ridiculous but just come on guys you, this is a story game where the story is not good now some people aren't even going to care about the story they're just going to care about the gameplay and that's that's all right you know just go enjoy your it's not really a 60 dollar game worth of just for that it's just it's not and this doesn't even have the multiplayer they charge $60 for a single player game with no choices. There's no like choices or branching paths or any of that. When I'll talk about the ending, that would have been a fucking easy like no brainer if they wanted to have the divisive stupid ending or just the ending that would have made a little semblance of sense and maybe made this a little bit better. But just the way that all that was done and all that was handled just very poorly and just not having the multiplayer and uh i'm not one to super get into multiplayer but i kind of like the the multiplayer in the first game so for them to just have that as an omission i mean stupid stupid decision after stupid decision uh of this game because fuck you that's just what it is it's oh it's a divisive game ha 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 all right so there's that. Let's get on to the ending and then a few other ideas and shit that we could talk about in the comments. And, uh, you know, tell me what you think. But the ending of the game, you finally track down Abby and you basically save. You basically save Abby because she's tied up like she's about to be crucified in the fucking place. She lost her fucking big ultra fucking like she is unrealistically strong in this game. Like. Yes, women can build muscle and be muscular, but in a feminine way. You can't have triceps as big as... You can't have biceps and triceps and be as muscular as Arnold Schwarzenegger as a woman if you're not on steroids. So all that's just senseless. And I mean, mind you, this is a zombie apocalypse. Like, even some of the men in this game, like, they're pretty fucking jacked up. For this to be a zombie apocalypse and you're fighting for your fucking life so that's all extremely far-fetched just ridiculous and done on purpose for a, a certain type of reaction and blah 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 and all that so you basically save abby by cutting her down and then you you fight her but then i say you save her because oh you don't kill her like she's drowning her and then bites off her fingers has a flashback of fucking Joel and then doesn't fucking kill the person who killed Joel 
it's so stupid. And I know you're like, oh no, you're the stupid one for not getting it. You don't get it. It's supposed to be, you're not ending the cycle of revenge. She senselessly fucking was mowing down people in the most brutal way possible throughout the fucking game. And then, oh, I can't kill the one person I'm supposed to kill. Like, you know what? If they really wanted to have that as an ending, they could have made it a choice. I don't know who would ever pick that choice, but that would have made more sense. But I already see where they're going with the next game. They're going to probably have Abby as a main character. Oh, stupid shit. And, you know, there's, there's a lot of other shit. There's a lot of meaningless side characters in this game that really add nothing to the story at all. And... That's just much of the game. Like, you spend so much time with this character, Abby. Oh, Abby. The daughter of the surgeon from the first game. Oh, oh. Joel is a bad man. Joel is a bad man. And even the fucking flashback where Ellie's talking to Joel like, Oh, I'm so mad at you. Why would you do that? Oh. You know, like... He se he's seen you as his fucking daughter, you clown. And then you're going to be like, oh, you should have did that. I could have meant something. Stupid. I know you can't see me rolling my eyes. I forgot that I had these sunglasses on. <laughs> but, I mean, whatever. There you go, folks. That's my thoughts on the game. I think it's stupid. Is it as initially bad as a lot of the leaks would have you to think? Mm, not as bad as that, but... It's still nowhere near good. It's nowhere near anything of what the fans wanted. And if you want to talk about a game switching to not playing as the main character and that being done well, you could look at Metal Gear Solid 2. Like, nobody fucking seen Raiden coming and nobody really liked him at first, but it was still a good game. The story was still good. And then, in Metal Gear Solid 4, you got awesome fucking sword fucking Raiden cutting motherfuckers up and being a badass. But that's not going to come of Abby in the fucking next game. So it's just, it's so fucking dumb, guys. That's enough. Tell me what you think in the comments. Tell me what you think of all the pandering. And tell me what you think of all the agendas. And tell me what you think of all just the, this not being anything that is cracked up to be. Making people wait seven years for this garbage story. And uh, have a great day. Peace.